What's your favorite products to shave with? What things do you go to? Like when you're just gonna shave, daily shave, things you know are solid that you love, you still like them a lot, but you also use them because there's just, they don't fail you. Well, that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna shave with the things that I shave with when I just wanna shave <laughs> and have a good shave too. Not just, you know, passable, but one that really get me clean. And you've seen all these products before because these are my favorites. And so I talk about them a lot. <laughs> So I did take a shower. I did do my hair. I'm starting to, it's starting to do some weird backwards stuff. I'm going to need a trim. It's starting to get out of, out of hand, out of control. I'm out of control. You're out of order. The whole, all right, everybody, <laughs> let's shave, shall we? Okay. I'm going to put some hot water on my face just because. And what am I going to use for a brush? Well, I, I tend to go for this one over and over again. It's a little Sinatra Linen Signature one from DS Cosmetics. It is a synthetic. And if you notice little things floating around in the air, it's because the sunlight is just so that when I do things like that... <laughs> oh, see that? Woo! Anyway, that's why in the last video you saw like little things floating around. It's not because my vintage razors are haunted. Are they? Mm. Okay, what am I going to shave with? I'm going to shave with this. I'm going to shave with this right here. Sterling margaritas in the Arctic. You know it. You love it. I know it. I love it. I'm going to put some more hot water on. You see, you start yakking too much. You need to get shaving. Oh, smells so good. Oh, you know, it was a toss-up between this and the space soap or any uh, mint-flavored so, but generally I go for the space soap. Now I don't want to recommend that because God, I'm just flinged. Look at this. I'm just disgusting. Uh, I don't want to recommend space soap right now because Bob is on a hiatus. His Etsy store is not running right now, but hopefully because he's got a lot of people that like to use that stuff, including me. Hopefully he'll be up and running again soon. And hopefully you bought yourself some before he took his little break. So yeah, toss up between Sterling Margaritas in the Arctic Glacial, which is just like, you know, an all-time favorite. And uh, any mint flavored, but I tend to go for the Space Soap because it's a hard shaving cream. And the things like the, uh, you know, Executive Shaving uh, Foire Ox Schnog. <laughs> Perfectly pronounced, by the way. And uh, and uh, what's the other one? Oh, the Taylor Old Bond, Taylor of Old Bond Street Peppermint. I like those, but they're too soft. They're too, you know, but they are pepperminty flavored. And then what's the razor? The old Rockwell 6S, the stainless five, number five, plate number five with a feather blade in it, which I've shaved with twice, I think. So this is all, it's all comfort food. It's all comfort shaving. That's what I'm going for today. And the thing I like about the Rockwell is that it is solid. It feels solid in the hand. You know, it's not, it's not cheap. It's like a hundred bucks. But it will be the last safety razor you will ever need to buy because it is simple. It's a three-piece. It doesn't have any mechanisms that will wear out. It's just, you know, solid, solid. And it's easy. And I very rarely get nicked. Now, I do every now and then. But it's not like my other razors. This is my go-to solid, like... <laughs> Did I say solid enough times? That's enough. That's enough out of there. Yeah. Anyway, that's what I'm doing this shave. I want to know what your favorite combos, what your favorite products are, what your razors are, you know, like the go-tos. That's what I want to hear about down in the comments below. Would you leave that? Would you leave some comments for me? Give me something to read on these spooky October nights. Ooh. I've been, um, I've been on a real uh, Halloween kick. Since about last month, and that goes for the movies, the Halloween movies, you know, the Michael Myers. And also just Halloween in general. For some reason, I'm in the mood this year for Halloween. So we got some decorations, which we always do. But then we went out and bought a, you know, a fake skeleton stuck it on the front, front porch in the chair. And the pumpkins are out there, the fake pumpkins that are all lit up. We haven't bought a real pumpkin yet. Haven't done that yet. We're going to wait a little bit because it's still getting into the 90s here. So if you buy a pumpkin early down here in Texas, and especially if you carve it into a jack-o'-lantern, that thing is going to turn to liquid by Halloween. So that's why we wait because it's still so hot. 
in the afternoons. It's a pleasant, it's, it's, a, it's a cool hot, if you know what I mean. I don't know if that makes sense or not. Texans back me up here. All right, there's the first pass with my comfort food, comfort shave. Still got plenty, plenty to get rid of. Synthetic brush. This doesn't have to be this brush. Any synthetic will do. I just like the size of this one, and I like that the bristles are white. It's kind of cool. Looks like the whole dang brush is just made out of soap, made out of foam, see? I don't know, there's something pleasing about that. Maybe it goes back to my old Stormtrooper love. The sheer black and white, the starkness of it. Ooh, I did get a little nick, see? A little nick. It's a rare knicker, but it's a knicker. No, not knickers, that's what they call underwear, panties over there in the, in the UK. I love that term, knickers. Have you got your knickers on? Because if we say pants or under, you, oh, forget it. I'm not going to get into the vernacular. Not today. Anyway, I was talking about uh, horror movies. I've been getting into Halloween. I, uh, I haven't seen, you know, I had not sat down and watched the whole original 1978 Halloween movie with Jamie Lee Curtis, Donald Pleasance. So I finally sat down and watched that. And then I watched Halloween 2, which I hadn't seen. Halloween 3 does not have Michael Myers in it. But I saw that when I was a kid, and it scared the pee wadden out of me with those masks that if you are wearing them and you watch the special commercial, your head turns into bugs and snakes and stuff. So I remember thinking that was creepy. And then I kind of skimmed through Halloween 4 and 5 and, and just because they were on TV and they weren't great. Halloween 2018 was pretty good. It was scary. I know, this is a lot of Halloween. There's a lot of movies. What are there, like 11 of those dang movies? I've not seen them all. I prefer the original one because it's not too gory. I don't like gory stuff. I don't like gory, bloody, like crazy. I like creepy and scary, like, oh, he's coming after you. That I like. But if it gets to be too, you know, graphic and bloody, that turns me off. I don't like it. Speaking of that, I did watch yesterday. <laughs> I told you I was on a kick. I was on a Halloween scary horror movie, slasher movie kick for some reason. I don't know why. And it's about to fade off, I can tell. All right, there we go. Two passes. We got one more. Uno mas. Ah, there we go. So I finally watched the world famous Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Now, if... If you're a fan of the horror genre, you probably are well-versed in that movie, but I had never seen it. I know. Where have I been? I don't know. So I finally watched it yesterday for the first time, and that is disturbing. I'm talking about the original one from 1974, I think it was. That is some disturbing stuff. And actually, the funny thing is, if you know anything about the original movie and the character of the hitchhiker, he's this weird guy they pick up who, like, cuts his own hand and then cuts the guy and then, oh. Anyway, his name is Edwin Neal, and I've worked with him on a bunch of stuff because we used to have the same agent. Our agent has since retired, but I worked with him on the Gatchaman anime series. He did the voice of the main bad guy in that. So I have spent a considerable amount of time with Edwin Neal, and he is as creative. He's not as weird as he is in that movie. I mean, nobody would be, but he is very creative. He is a little weird, but in a good way. He's very funny. He's got a very entertaining uh, persona. And so it was weird to watch him. I got another Nick up here, see? I'm not going very carefully. I never get Nicks right there. That is, that is a, a rare Nick to be Nicked up here. Normally it's always down here in the chin and stuff. So I can tell I'm not doing a very good job. I'm yakking too much about slasher movies or whatever. Anyway, so they filmed that movie in and around kind of the Austin area, Austin, Round Rock, Bastrop. So all in this sort of area. And I knew that there was like this pivotal scene where there's this gas station where all the kids at the beginning of the movie get out of the van and they're serving barbecue, which later turns out to be uh, not what they thought. I won't, I won't spoil it. 
Anyway, that gas station is still there. It's still a place. It's been redone to look like it did in the movie. And I went there yesterday and had some barbecue, and it was really good barbecue. And they sell all kind of horror memorabilia inside, like masks, like Freddy Krueger masks, and, you know, figurines, and everything. So it was really kind of cool. And it's kind of out in the country, like it was in the movie. And because they redid it, it looks pretty much exactly as it did in the movie, which is crazy to think that some little old building like that is still there after this long. Because it's not, you know, anything to write home about. It's not historic, except for having been in that movie. So I went there yesterday. It's called The Gas Station. It's in Bastrop, Texas. You can check it out. And very good barbecue. Very good. I had a brisket sandwich. It was moist. It was well smoked. And uh, it was made out of a cow, I think. I hope. I hope. All right. There's three passes. Oh, smooth. They're still from right here. If I go like this, I can feel it. And always right here. So, because it's that kind of a shave, I'm going to take care of it. Yeah, I got a couple of nicks that time. See, yeah, that's what always happens. The hubris. My pride gets in the way. As soon as I say, oh, I never get nicks, that's when I start getting nicks. And also because I'm talking too much, I'm not going slowly enough. Hey, you know, we're talking about slasher films. There might as well be some blood flying. It's not really flying. It's just kind of gently pooling. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Feel under here. All the places that bug me if I miss it. Don't do this if you have sensitive skin, please. All right. Know when to stop, kids. I know I've said this many times. Know when to stop. It's a huge part of life. Knowing when to say when. And that can apply to so many situations. You'll see. If you're young, you'll see. A lot of this stuff doesn't sink in until later. And that's the tragedy of it. <laughs> you try to teach, you know, your own children, like the things you've learned. And they're not always willing to listen. Sometimes they do, and you'd be surprised later. <laughs> All right, so we're done with that. We did the Rockwell, we did that, we did that, we did the, our margaritas, we did the thing. And now it's time to pull out, well, you know what's gonna be my favorite, my favorite combo, Cremo, upside down, because it's running out, so I want it to pool at the bottom. And Captain's Choice 45th Parallel, which I need to buy uh, the balm, because this is the aftershave with the alcohol. I need to get the balm, and I need to get uh, the shaving soap, because this stuff, Oh, love it. Love it. And I love the combination of the peppermint of this. Peppermint slash old piano scent. Which is an indescribable thing, but it oh, still smells good. Gosh. Cremo, knocking it out of the park with that. Please don't shave it. I mean, please don't change the formula on me. Coke did that recently with Coke Zero, and I'm still having to get used to it. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> Weepy. All right, that's good. I do have a Nick right here which wants to keep uh, nicking, I guess. So I'm just gonna do this for a little while. As as I say goodbye to you, I will keep this finger right here. Oh, I got a booster, that's what that is, in case you were wondering. Uh, I got a couple of shout outs, but I didn't write them down. <laughs> so shout outs coming soon. I think there's two of them. Anyway, I hope, I hope they're not time, time sensitive, but if they are, congratulations and happy birthday. I don't think that's what they are, but anyway, thanks for joining me. Let me know in the comments below what your comfort shave is, what your shaving comfort food is. Uh, what's your go-to stuff? Because maybe there's something I missed, maybe something I don't know about. But if I get enough comments, maybe I'll put together what seems to be the most interesting ones and shave with that. All right, everybody, have a great weekend. Happy Halloween. It's still October. It's a long way off, but happy Halloween anyway. <laughs> Bye.